The Senatorial Committee investigating crime in New York sets the stage for a new drama on its final day. Again, Frank Costello, alleged gambling czar, is the target for grilling. Again, he refuses to divulge his wealth. On the subject of his duties as a citizen, Senator Toby has searching questions. What have you ever done for your country as a good citizen? Well, I don't know what you claim, what, I, what, what you mean by that. Well, you're looking back over the oh, years yeah. now to that time when you became a citizen, I mean, now standing 20 odd years after that. You must have in your mind some things you've done that you can speak of to your credit as an American citizen. If so, what are they? Paid my tax. <laughs> During the drama-packed proceedings, proceedings which rocked the city administration, Former Mayor O'Dwyer is recalled to face the questioning of Rudolph Halley, the committee's special counsel. During the course of his final testimony, Ambassador O'Dwyer denies ever having received campaign contributions from the Uniformed Firemen's Association of New York. The former mayor also denied that he had ever been influenced by Frank Costello in civic appointments. Shortly after Mr. O'Dwyer's appearance before the committee, a bombshell was dropped into the hearing by John P. Crane, president of the Uniform Firemen's Association, who had this to say about a contribution and the time and place he claims to have delivered $10,000 to the mayor. I told the mayor at that time that uh, I had promised him the support of the firemen and I offered him some evidence of that support on the occasion in the form of $10,000. And uh, was that in cash? That was in cash. Uh, was it a loot or a, in a uh, package? I had it in, uh, I could never describe the envelope. I don't know the technical word, but it was a rake, this type of envelope you have right there, the brown one. Uh, was it just about this size of the envelope that That's I'm showing? It's a standard envelope. About eight by 10. What did the mayor say? He thanked me, that was about all. How long were you there? Not more than 10 minutes. Repercussions from the New York hearings have been nationwide with contempt and perjury citations indicated by the committee and with this summation of public sentiment by former Ambassador Spruill Braden, now heading the Anti-Crime Committee in New York, who says... Of one thing we can be sure, the Costellos, Adonises, and the rest of this scum, and still more, the miserably corrupted law enforcement officers are among the Kremlin's best friends and allies. Perhaps in a sense, they are even more dangerous than the spies convicted of stealing our atomic and military secrets. After all, by ingenuity and hard work, we can compensate for and replace these thefts. But the loss of morality in government will cause us to lose our self-respect and the respect and confidence of other peoples. From such a catastrophe, no nation has ever recovered. Our citizens are aroused, and an aroused citizenry is irresistible. They will relentlessly demand honest and competent officials who will drive the criminals into prison, out of the country, or into the electric chair. The New York City Anti-Crime Committee was formed to help in this work. You may be assured it is at your service at all times, and we hope to join with other crime commissions throughout the country to make this a great national campaign, an unremitting crusade. I thank you, sir, very much.